Army Air Facility. Here's a picture of our orderly room, and this is me, me celebrating a return from a flight. This is me putting my stuff in my side of the aircraft. I rode the right, I rode the right seat, operated the cameras, and uh, if there was an infrared system or a SLAR system, they call those people that do that a TO, a technical observer. Here's checking the, my flight suit with my harness, my May West, getting into the aircraft and strapping in. We're on a Martin Baker's ejection seat, so we had to strap in and, and hook up to the ejection seat, then arm the ejection seat before takeoff. My pilot on this flight was Captain Seeley, and we were flying a nose camera mission up a, up a small river in uh, Vietnam, uh, out close to the Laotian border. It was quite a little process to strap into the aircraft. You had a lot of things to hook up. Your survival kit, your uh, self to the ejection seat, and your legs to the restraints that pulled them in in case of an ejection. In case of an ejection, you went right through the plexiglass, or you could eject the plexiglass. And, and this is pulling out on the airstrip uh, and getting ready for our takeoff roll. We're taking off to the north towards Monkey Mountain. Monkey Mountain is the big mountain just to the north of our airstrip. We were right on the coastline, close to the uh, South China Sea. Here we are taking off, going down through there and getting our airspeed up and then flying off into the nose camera mission area. Here's our first run along on the nose camera mission coming into the river. Coming down to about 50 feet. Here we're coming in for another pass up the river and we'll probably make about 40 or 50 runs on this river before we're finished. You can't follow the whole river because it's too crooked. Then we're down sometime below the sides of the mountains. We're uh, trying to get down real low so we can see up under the trees with our nose camera which takes 180 degrees in front of the aircraft. and. You can see up underneath the trees where they have this stuff hid that they take across these rivers at night. So that's what we're looking for, is supplies and crossing points and things like that. Of course, the Vietnamese were smart. They knew that we would do this, and so they, in places, put cables across the river so that you'd be coming down there real low level and catch yourself on a cable, which is not a good thing to do when you're doing 250 knots in a Mohawk. Again, here's another run down the side of the river, and you can see that the river or the mountains are up above us, and if uh, they were up on top of the mountains, they could shoot down at us, which was not really a good thing to have them do, because it's a lot easier to hit an aircraft from the t up above than it is from down below. It's, it's in your field of fire for a lot longer time. Of course, most of these rivers were not very well populated with people, and so See, we're flying down below some of these mountains, and we're flying real low, going down through there trying to get these pictures. These are beautiful rivers. I would have liked to went down there and went fishing in one of them, but uh, never get a chance to do that. If I ever go back to Vietnam after I get out of the Army, maybe I'll uh, be able to do something like that. I finished a uh, mission and we're flying up above the clouds now on the way back to, to uh, Marble Mountain Army Airfield. There's a picture of the instruments in the aircraft that the pilot uses to fly this bird. And here we are coming across to, uh, Da Nang City and uh, it was a picture of our landing gear in the rearview mirror that I have to tell the pilot that I got one on my side. He tells me he's got one on his side and three in the green. Then we come in for a landing and taxi into operations and go in for a debriefing and that's the end of our mission.